violent sexuality or, you know, prepubescent molestation. You know, almost everything in between, particularly adult sexuality, is viewed through a prism. If the prism's loving, it's good. If people lay a negative prism, you can make anything bad. And so basically, there was a prison that was developed over 25 years, you know, which a couple of these people from 25 years ago participated in, and this kind of fed into the prison. So A, you know, my own lack of homeless. You know, B, you know, malice. You know, C, you know, this prison. You know, D, you know, the kind of cultural disowning of feminine shadow. You know, that's four. That's number four. Five. Five. My own bohemian lifestyle and a lack of transparency around it. Right? Here I am, you know, rabbiing on the one hand. Now that I'm living a more bohemian lifestyle. And, you know, and there were times when I chose the integrity of a moment of love, you know, over the integrity of classical, you know, structures. You know, and I wasn't transparent about that because actually those two were actually in conflict in me. And the lack of transparency around that actually created enormous vulnerability. You know, and in that sense, you know, in that sense, you know, we get a sense, you know, of, of these five things. Six would be, you know, a larger purification. You know, seven would be to move my life in a different direction. Now, those are all different ways to go. Now, of course, what's going to happen is every group of people is going to pick one prison and say, this is it. It was Gotham. Let's demonize them. Other people will, you know, but those are all kind of incomplete. You know, completion is really integrate all of them together and to own all of them together. And, you know, my kind of closing thing is, is, you know, my way forward is, is not going to be the way of attack. It's not going to be the way of exposing people. Clearly, I needed to stand up and say the sexual harassment, abuse, you know, stuff, you know, the kind of crazy things that were written. I think Yid Yotas for no, wrote rape. Which, you know, the, actually the people, you know, you know, wrote a letter. Thank you so much. Yay! More! <laughs> Yo! Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Do you have chicken? Say what? Do you have chicken? I don't. Do you have chicken? Thank you. Thank you very much, Greta. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was it. Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Fantastic. Sorry about no air conditioning. No, it's fantastic. Thank you very much. Right. It's a good place, actually, for an introduction as we finish. Yeah. And, and I, I couldn't let, I mean, I know that, by the way, let me be clear, you know, the women didn't make those false accusations. You know, the, the, actually, I got a copy of a letter that someone wrote, one of the women, to the paper saying we never said anything like that. You know, and as I think there was, I thought there was a blog that put it on and then erased it. You know, in other words, but I needed to make a public statement saying, this and this and this is not true in order to basically move on with my life. At the same time, I made a decision that I'm going to take the high road. And I'm not going to publish people's private correspondence. Right? I'm not going to attack people. I'm going to own whatever I'm able to own in terms of my own responsibility. You know, and you know, move on in a way that's healing. You know, and I guess the last thing I have to say is you know, I can't contact any of the people in the story. The second person files a complaint and I'll have to contact them. That's, that's actually the law. So people said, why haven't they sat? Why hasn't contacted them? You're not allowed to, right? It's got to be a place where we all sit and own our part in the contribution. I know it's very hard for people to climb down the tree. It's very hard for spiritual leaders to admit we abandoned this guy and left him to die. We weren't compassionate. It's very hard for people to own you know, their own malice. Because of that, you know, I'm not going to say, hey, let me push my way back into this or that community. I'm not asking anything from anyone. Right? I'm moving on. Where the openings are, I'll go. You know, my, my primary future direction is writing, A. B, I have a huge interest in social activism. And there's a, a two organizations around that are very, very involved in combating genocide, you know, and human trafficking, sexual slavery, which have been issues in my entire life. You're against genocide? <laughs> cute, very cute. <laughs> and so I'd, I'd like to work actively on that. But, you know, and as things arise, you know, I'll share, you know, not as a, you know, not as a classical rabbi, although I'll do what emerges, you know, not as a classical guru, as a spiritual artist. You know, I want to share, you know, the teaching, the Torah, right, the wisdom, you know, the gifts that are mine to share. You know, and the people that feel like they want to come and, and study with me, they should. And people that don't want to look, they shouldn't. It's totally fine. You know, but I'm committed, I'm committed to being a lover, 
right? I'm committed to loving people. Being a lover doesn't mean, uh, uh, you know, I think you understand exactly what I mean. You know, I'm committed to loving people. You know, I'm committed to not let my heart close because of this. I'm committed to not becoming bitter. You know, I'm committed to really keeping an open heart. And if I can leave you with one phrase, which you're going to hate, Luke, but I love, right? But, you know, as Luke says that he hates it, let me just kind of make this clear to everyone listening. He's sitting there, he's been inhaling the fragrance of a flower for the last hour. He goes out and, you know, hugs trees. So actually, that part of you might, might actually love this. You know, there's something, when something happens to us in love and a relationship, we can make it an insult, and we have to insult the person back. And it becomes a kind of a ritual of rejection when we reject each other. The other way to experience hurt is to experience it as, as a wound of love, not an insult of love. And can we practice the wounds of love? And, and with that, you know, I want to end, you know, and thank you for coming. And uh, beautiful day, Lachai. Okay.